can't play the F sharp. It doesn't fit. So if I'm going here, right, that measurement, there's my major, there's my minor chord. If I have my C major scale, I turn it over to D, cannot play D major. So it just doesn't fit in the scale. I have to bend that chord into a minor. And now I'm safe on the, uh, on the rocks and I'm not in the hot lava. Same thing if I rotate it to, let's say, E. I can't play E major because that G sharp is not part of the scale. It has to be a G natural, which makes it a minor chord. Yeah, and every th if I only stay on those notes that exist, now I'm in the key of C. You see, I'm not anywhere in between. Like I'm not, uh, let's say I'm not here in between the scale. I have to only look at notes in the scale. What I'm trying to do is measure the distance between every other note. So if I go to the F now, I need to measure the distance between F, G, A, B, C, every other one. So F to G, sorry, F to A, F, G, A, it's not a minor third, it's a major third. I'm just taking a ruler, I'm just measuring distances. So now I know it has to be F major the fit inside the scale. If I play F minor, I got that flat six or the A flat, it doesn't belong in the scale. So it has to be F major to sit on the scale. Right, so now if I go to G, G is also major. It's, if I play G minor, I'm gonna get a note outside the scale. There's my minor doesn't fit in the scale, it's got to be major. What do you think A is going to be? Yes, sir, because the distance from A to C is only three. So if I rotate now to A, got to make it minor. Because that major third doesn't belong in the scale. What about B? What do you think the B is going to be? So it's a minor third, but now we got a special problem. What's wrong? The B is sitting happily on the scale. The D is sitting happily as the minor third on the scale. E and there's the F. It's telling me if I want to play a minor chord, I got to play the fifth has got to be here. I have to drop the fifth. Now it becomes a diminished chord. The difference between minor, drop the fifth, it's got that kind of evil sound, right? It's really tense. There's minor and I can't play the F sharp. Doesn't fit in the scale, so I've got to break the fifth now, make it a diminished chord. Okay? Now, all of that was just to get to this point of saying, if I'm in C major and I had a major scale, major, right? Major, minor, whoops, minor. Number two is minor, number three is minor, four is major, five is major, six, minor, number seven, finished. And so you don't have to remember how you really got it. You have to remember major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. And when we go to our circle of fifths, you'll see what C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G number five is major, A minor, and B diminished. Make sense?